man, this feels every bit as good as my 5010 downhill. Just feels good. I guess that's the biggest surprise for me on this bike. I didn't think it'd be as fast as the 5010 in the tight stuff. And man, without a doubt, I'd say it certainly is. And it feels like it has just as much suspension too. Nice. Hey, good morning guys. Another nice day to be out mountain biking. We're riding the 2017 Santa Cruz Tallboy 29er. This one can go 29 or 27.5 plus. For me, I think it's a 29er. Parker, what do you think? Yeah, I just got done riding. I spent about 15, 20 minutes on it. Now Parker's going to give it a try. Um, I'm riding my 5010 today, so we're kind of doing a little bit of a head-to-head -head between the 5010 27.5 and the Santa Cruz Tallboy 29er. 110 mil rear, 120 fork on it, and uh, just rolls well. It's everything a 29er should be. Um, for those of you who have never seen the channel, welcome. We do bike reviews. Hope you subscribe and stick around. And for the guys that have been here for a while, thank you. Glad you're enjoying the channel. One of the other things I was really thrilled about when I picked up the Tallboy from the bike shop today was it came specced with a Minion DHF on the front. Most of these short travel 29er bikes are coming with like a Maxxis Ardent or that Trek had the XR3. And although they may be a little bit faster rolling tire, it's just not worth it to me, you guys. I, if you're not going to be standing on a podium this year and you're not racing, put a tire on that just hooks up. It'll be so much more fun. You'll be changing less flats because they're more durable. I like them uh, and I feel the difference. I just don't have the confidence with an Arden up front. So don't want to beat a dead horse here, but kudos to Santa Cruz for throwing a DHF on the front of a kind of cross country trail bike. And it climbs awesome. I don't see a huge weight penalty. It climbs awesome. We're not going to spend too much time talking about the climbing of the tall boy today. It climbs awesome. Is it better than this 5010? Ah, man. We're splitting hairs here. I'd say yeah. But again, we're splitting hairs. <laughs> Parker, Parker agrees. Probably a little better climber. All right. Well, uh, we're getting to the top here where we're going to descend. Uh, thanks to Go Ride for hooking us up with a sweet bike to demo today. If you're in town, seriously guys, they've got like a huge fleet of demos right now. They always do. So if you need a bike, go talk to Chris or Manny down at the shop, get you on the right bike. All right. <laughs> Tall boy time. <laughs> oh, feels good, baby. Oh, feels really good. Parker! Oh, shit. I picked a crap line, dude. Dude, I'm not in my clearance. I'm so wobbly. You all right? Yeah. Bike's all right? You okay? Yeah. Shoulder okay? Yeah, we're good. Can you take a minute? All right, we have recovered from our little incident there. And uh, you good, Parker? All right, keep the rubber side down, baby. <laughs> Feels good. Man, I'm surprised. This feels like it has a lot more travel than it does. 110 in the rear, that is surprising, no doubt about it. Oh man. Feels a little different than the 5010, but man. Oh, it's fast. 
Get on the brakes there, Jay. Man, I am surprised at how well this thing handles this rougher section up here on Jacob's Ladder. It just feels really good. Like, really good. Like, a lot more than... Oh, oh yeah! It just feels like it has a lot more than 110 mil in the rear. Like, that's just crazy. Oh! Very surprised at how nice this thing feels. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Came in a little hot there. I gotta grab some brake on this bike, dang. Man! Oh, it's fast and fun. Oh. Hey, that corner is where I went down right there. Yeah, coming in hot like that. Man, this bike just looks good. I like the paint job. Oh, that was fun. All right, felt good up top. Let's see how it feels down here on the tighter turns. I think it's gonna handle really well. I gotta get these guys to back off the throttle a little bit so we can smooth out this footage. Okay, Ghost Falls, tight turns. Let's see how it does. Man, they just carry so much freaking speed. I gotta remember to grab brake a little earlier on this bike. Man, I'd say it feels as fast as my 5010 on all of these tight turns. Oh, it feels really good. On paper, it has a low bottom bracket too, but no pedal strikes yet at all. Oh yeah, it gets through it nice. This thing feels nimble. Oh, it's so nice to have a decent tire on front too that hooks up. Oh yeah, it feels really good. I've said that probably a hundred times, but I thought this was gonna be a cross country bike, guys. And it's not, this is a trail bike. are hauling butt today i don't normally go quite this fast when i'm filming because it ruins the footage but man it's so fun oh, it's poppy it's nimble it's 
That's everything. I like this bike, man. <sighs> nice, Parker. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> All right, well, in conclusion, Santa Cruz Tallboy 29er rips, man. Feels really good. I'm on a medium today and I'm 5'8". Felt good, just like my 5010. Man, I think uh, I like the extra rolling of the 29er and this still felt nimble and quick, like the 5010. I like this bike. Let's get it home and do a little review. Um, Fun day on this bike today, for sure. Hey guys, just got back from our ride on the 2017 Santa Cruz Tallboy 3 29er. I was really impressed with this bike today. Probably the biggest surprise was how well it descends. For 110 mil rear and 120 mil travel up front, it just handles so well. It feels like it has more travel than it does. That could be part of the 29er wheel too, but man, really great bike. Climbing was a breeze. In terms of how it climbs, I'd say probably a little better than the 5010. It climbs more like a cross country bike. I was really impressed with it. I'm really starting to get impressed with these shorter travel 29er bikes. Just really impressive. Um, this one's spec really nice. This is the $6,500 build. This is the CC frame. So it has the Eagle Drive Train, uh, Fox 34 float uh, fork, just really nice bike. Um, I think it weighs like 27 pounds right around there. Um, another thing, I mentioned this on my ride, but it's so nice to ride a bike like this that's specced with a DHF Minion. <laughs> it just hooks up so well. Um, I think the takeaway from my ride today on the demo has got to be that this is like an everyman's bike. Anyone could ride this bike and have a lot of fun. If you want to lose weight, it's your bike. You could do some enduro cross country racing with this bike, I really think so. Um, and it still handles the heavier, gnarlier stuff really well. I said that about the Santa Cruz High Tower, and it's probably even more the case with this bike. This is every man's bike, and it just shreds. I had a lot of fun on this bike today. Um, hope the video was useful for you guys. If it was, Give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to stick around and see more cool videos like this. Thanks guys.